And now we'll travel back to a more innocent time that really wasn't all that innocent in retrospect. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for yet another top 10 sexual innuendos in kids' animated series. It's called melting on the bread. For this list, we're taking a look at even more adult references in cartoons that are primarily targeted towards kids. If there's a dirty joke you think we missed, be sure to check out our previous lists on the top 10 sexual innuendos in kids' animated series. Number 10, one great video game, Steven Universe. When I got to his house, I saw he cleaned up his room a little. Sexuality is a recurring theme in Steven Universe, although it's often addressed in clever, understated ways. So that would make him Greg's brother and father? That would explain a lot. The most notorious innuendo in this series has got to be when Sadie opens up about her relationship with Lars. After buying a video game for her coworker, Sadie had the pleasure of being his player two. He let me be his player two, and we spent the whole night together. The naive, wide open Steven assumes this means they spent the whole evening playing the video game. Yet, the look in Sadie's eyes suggests that Lars and her were up all night doing something very different. We wonder if they're into role playing games. That really is nice. Must have been one great video game. Number nine, Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? The amazing world of Gumball. Gumball's amazing world is full of eccentric, diverse characters, including a family of talking bananas. We're not entirely sure how sentient fruit can engage in relations, but this scene gives us a bit of an idea. Running through the house, Gumball stumbles upon Banana Joe watching an internet video. On the screen is a pair of hands ripping into a juicy orange. At first glance, this might not seem explicitly sexual. When you're a banana, though, nothing is more intimate than watching another fruit unpeel. Taking that into consideration, we can't help but share Gumball's stunned expression. <laughs> Number eight, Dipper's internet history, Gravity Falls. This never happened. Dipper Pines is a curious young man who's naturally drawn to the many secrets of Gravity Falls. Since he's going through puberty, however, Dipper is also quite curious about the female body. He has a crush on teenager Wendy, although she's a few years too old for him. You ruled back there, man. <laughs> Thanks. Unfortunately, the internet provides Digger with an outlet to explore his carnal desires. In this scene, Mabel takes a jab at her twin brother and his creepy internet history. Yeah, this room is way creepy. Not as creepy as Dipper's internet history. Hey! It's never made clear what kind of websites Dipper has been visiting, but then again, some mysteries are better left unsolved. <laughs> Number seven, Johnny and the Dildo. Courage the Cowardly Dog. What do you know? A velvet thick record. If you thought Dipper's internet history was creepy, you should log on to Courage the Cowardly Dog's computer. What does this one do? <laughs> on one occasion, it's implied that Courage has a pornographic website bookmarked, but that's far from the only sexual innuendo in the series. While listening to the radio in another episode, the announcer mentions a band that's apparently called Johnny and the Dildo. Here's one from Johnny and the Dildo. At least that's what it sounds like. There's some speculation that the announcer actually says Johnny and the Del Tones. The moment actually goes by so quickly that it's hard to make out his exact words. In any case, we're pretty sure a subliminal message snuck past the censors. It's really too bad that Eustache smashes the radio before the song starts. <laughs> Stupid radio. Number six, Prison Showers. The Adventures of Sam and Max, Freelance Police. Here's a place you never see on the tour. Despite their cute, cuddly appearances, Sam and Max have never shied away from edgy humor. Throughout their short-lived animated series, they manage to incorporate plenty of adult-oriented jokes while maintaining a kid-friendly rating. Visiting his grandmother at the big house where she works, Sam looks at the prison showers in awe. The dog detective can't help but think about the stories these walls could tell, although his rabbity companion points out that they're better off not knowing. The prison showers, gee, if these walls could talk. I think it's best if they keep their mouths shut. As if that's not shocking enough, the scene also throws in a dropping the soap gag. In here, jokers. Number five, time of the month. SpongeBob SquarePants. Turn your better stations! I'm on it! So, let's just address the elephant in the room. SpongeBob works at a restaurant called The Krusty Crab, which is located in a town called Bikini Bottom. When you stop to think about it, there's an obvious sex joke in that. What adds another layer to this innuendo is the fact that the Krusty Crab gets an unwanted monthly visitor in the form of plankton. As Mr. Krabs' rival invades the food joint in a blimp, Squidward bluntly announces that it's that time of the month. Is it dark? Or have I put off my cataract surgery too long? No, Mr. Krabs. It's that time of the month. The fact that Plankton's blimp is also a bloody red color probably isn't a coincidence either. All that's really missing is a panty raid. 
Give us some credit, old man. We're panty professionals. We score here all the time. Number four, Jake's video, Adventure Time. Hey, lady, you asked me to make you a video. Adventure Time makes no secret that Jake the dog and Lady Rainicorn are in a sexual relationship. They have a litter of rainbow puppies together, after all. Yet, this episode clarifies what the adult viewers already definitely know. Remo, skip! Skip! While watching a video, Finn and Lady stumble upon Jake posing by a roaring fire. Bimo fasts forwards before they can see any weird Jake stuff. Okay, I love you, girl. I hope you liked it. Bye. Unfortunately, there's also a clip of Jake dropping his towel, leaving Finn and Lady screaming in terror. Mm, guess what, Lady? This their dog needs a bath. <laughs> This isn't the first time Finn has been exposed to something sexual. Since he's also seen Marceline the Vampire Queen naked, it's safe to say that Finn isn't a little boy anymore. Number three, Puddin', the new Batman adventures. I gave him the night off, Puddin'. Like Jake and Lady Rainicorn, the sexual relationship between Joker and Harley Quinn is also pretty blatant. Of course, their dynamic is much more abusive, feeling kinda naughty. Harley surprises her puddin' in a pie pan full of, well, puddin'. Happy anniversary, Mr. J. Even the Joker is caught off guard by this sight, as the homicidal henchwoman performs a risque song and dance routine. Take the night off, let's play. On top of that, the puddin' looks suspiciously like a certain bodily fluid. Whoa. Wanna try some of my pie? Mr. J isn't hungry for Harley's dessert, however, and tosses her out. He doesn't even taste the cherry on top either. Ew, sweet kid, but a lousy cook. Number two, berry picking, Rocco's modern life. <laughs> From heifer getting milked to the doggy style bull ride. Why don't you just jump on our doggy style bull ride? Everybody on their hands and knees? Rocco's modern life got away with more sexual innuendos than we can count. This infamous moment in particular pushed the envelope for Nicktoon though. While camping, Rocco helps himself to some of Mother Nature's fruit. Instead of picking berries, though, the wallaby accidentally grabs a couple of nuts instead. A screaming bear subsequently emerges from the bush, grabbing his crunch. So, need we say more? It isn't all that surprising that this scene was removed from reruns and DVDs. The idea that this aired at all is kinda jaw-dropping, not to mention pretty hysterical. <laughs> Before we get to our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'll tell you when you can come. No one tells me when to come. That's winter without a snow job, that's not good. Get it, snow job? Number one, grilled cheese, if you please. The Looney Tunes show. Grilled cheese, if you please. Just as the original Merry Melodies cartoon worked in lots of adult jokes, the recent Looney Tunes show also had its fair share of innuendos. In this music video, Elmer Fudd sings about his burning desire for a grilled cheese sandwich. That might sound innocent enough, but just listen to the suggestive lyrics and the seductive melody. Watching butter melt on a frying pan has never been more graphic. Cause the butter and the cheese are gonna play a little game. Matters get especially erotic when Bud eats the sandwich in a heart-shaped bed, immediately craving seconds. Did George Costanza write this episode or something? Sex is about love between a man and a woman, not a man and a sandwich. <laughs> So, do you agree with our list? What sexual innuendo blew your fragile little mind? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's up to you and me, buddy! The Bandit Chip! <laughs>